This video is sponsored by SellCashier.com. They compare iPhone prices on the internet and give you their instant quote and the most cash for your iPhone. Hey guys, this is Edward Tikvarium. What I'm going to show you today is what Apple does not want you to know. What you have on your screens right now are two almost identical iPhones XS from the most recent generation that were just recently released. And by looking at them, you could basically say that, well, these only differ in their color scheme. So this is the golden one, this is the black one. But there's something else that's different about them, and it is actually the storage. The internal storage differs by a factor of two on these two handsets. So this is a 256 gigabyte version. This is the 512 gigabyte version. And what I'm going to hypothesize is that this phone in a select category will outperform this phone. What I'm going to run first is going to be the intuitive benchmark just to prove a point that visually this is a difference that you won't really notice. So this difference will not be noticeable to a naked eye. So let's go ahead and run the Antutu benchmark and we will proceed with the next test right after. Alright guys, this is really not granular enough and the next application is granular enough for us to actually see what the difference is that contributes to these phones performing differently. So this is going to be an app called Performance Test Mobile and what we're going to do is we're going to run the benchmark and we'll look at the result in just a second. Alright guys, and this is, this is granular enough for us to actually have a very very short discussion as to why this, that why this phone actually outperformed the one with the smaller storage capacity. So this is, again, to remind you, this is a 256 and that's a 512 from 512 gigabyte version. And what you're seeing on the storage write speed over here, this scored at 569 megabits per second, this scored at 593 megabits per second. So this is explained by the larger storage size, so it operates slightly differently. And this is just a inherent quality of a higher storage capacity phone. Now, of course, as you have seen in the Intuitive Benchmark, this is not really visible to a naked eye. But the question, the question arises as to why are you going to overpay so much more money for this device over here when you have such an expensive alternative? For example, iCloud. iCloud storage, you can get it as cheap as a dollar for 50 gigabytes, I think. It's just, it's extremely inexpensive and it's an extremely feasible option for somebody who wants to save money. Would you actually go for a 512 gigabyte version versus a 256 that has a couple hundred dollar price difference versus paying a dollar for a 50 gigabyte storage on iCloud. So if I was choosing a device for myself, if I was so destined to get a 10s brand new off the shelf for daily use, then that certainly wouldn't be a device not even with 256 gigabytes. I would get a smaller version of it simply because I would be willing to spend one or two or maybe even up to five dollars a month for an online storage like the iCloud and keep all my photos and all the information in there. I think that the security solutions are pretty solid nowadays so you don't really have to worry that much about someone stolen your data. The decision of course is yours but if this was me this is what I would go for. I would go for the smaller capacity iPhone 10s just because it's less expensive and you can save money on not having to deal with this. So really there's no sense in getting something that outperforms this phone it's just because the difference is really not visible to the naked eye thank you for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit that like button down below and subscribe to my channel i will see you in my next aquarium video very soon i wanted to tell you about sellcashier.com so you just got your new iphone what will you do with your old one you may be thinking of selling it on ebay craigslist and so on and it is definitely a hassle now you don't have to do that. Now you can sell it through sellcashier.com. They compare the actual prices of iPhones and give you the best price for your iPhone that you are trying to sell. And the good thing is, is that you are guaranteed the best rate. You also get a free shipping label. Thank you for watching and please check out sellcashier.com.